life, we hold on to so many things. We hold on to our pains, our grudges, our histories, what's happened to us that we think shouldn't have happened or what didn't happen that we think should have happened. We hold on to our expectations of what should happen now, desires. We hold on to our identifications of how we think the world should be, of who we think we are, what we think we need. And we don't realize that actually all of these things are making us stuck. All of these, the anger, the grudges, the pain, the expectations, the attachments, the jealousies, all of that, that's actually what's keeping us stuck. It's not that if I get those things, then I'll be happy, then I'll be peaceful. But it's actually holding on to those that is keeping us stuck in the first place. And the river, especially the Ganga River, gives us such a beautiful teaching of how to just let go. Just let go into the sacred river. I remember 25 years ago when I first came to India and Pooja Swamiji told me to stand in Mother Ganga and offer my pain, offer my anger, offer my grudges, offer that whole identification as one who had been harmed, as one who had had these challenges and these experiences. And he told me to just give them to Ganga. And I did. And it was the most extraordinary blessing and extraordinary transformation because I didn't realize how for 25 years I had been so stuck, so stuck, held by my pain, by my grudges, by my anger, by my identification as the one to whom these things happened. And if we can just take this beautiful lesson from the river, of letting go. Don't hold on. Just let go into the river and let her carry it out into the ocean so that we can be free. Doesn't mean those things don't matter. Doesn't mean there aren't beautiful and important lessons to be learned. There are. But it means we don't hold on in a way that defines us and identifies us and keeps us stuck. From the river, we take the beautiful, beautiful inspiration of letting go, moving on, allowing that flow to flow through us, carrying from us all of that which is holding us back and keeping us stuck. Whether it's the Ganga, whether it's whatever water body you may live on, just offer it, offer it into that sacred water and let yourself be free.